Let me go back to uh, for, mm. for this issue in particular. You were in Syria, General, uh, in past March, this past March. How would you describe the situation there? In Syria? In Syria. Yeah, so... You visited. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I went up there and... and uh, so we've had uh, forces in Syria for, mm. for quite a while. Mm. Uh, and, and the primary function uh, for those troops in Syria uh, was the counter-dash mission. Uh, and we want to... Our commitment is to ensure the enduring, what we call the enduring defeat of Daesh, the enduring defeat of ISIS. Uh, so the, the caliphate, as I said, was destroyed mm -hmm. uh, some time ago, uh, and that, that involved a considerable level of effort. <clears throat> but we should recall that back in, I guess it was uh, 2011, uh, we drew down our forces out of Iraq. We had no forces in, in Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Daesh comes out of the, out of the deserts of Syria into Iraq, in 2014, mm -hmm. uh, and essentially they overran essentially the, the good part of the northern portions of Iraq and a good a good portion of eastern Syria. Uh, and it was a, a very, very radicalized, very violent, mm -hmm. very destabilizing force. Uh, and then the United States uh, re-entered by supporting Iraq, and then we uh, worked in Syria by supporting the Syrian Democratic Front, mm -hmm. General Mazum and his folks, and we had special forces operating in there. And the whole purpose was to <clears throat> destroy and defeat the caliphate, um, and, 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 uh, and, and Baghdadi was its leader. <clears throat> and we did that to the point where we ended up also going in and killing Baghdadi himself. Mm -hmm. uh, but, as I said, the, the organization, the caliphate, uh, was shattered, uh, but there are still fighters mm -hmm. in small groups in and around Syria and in and around Iraq and that do present a threat, and if we uh, were to somehow suddenly withdraw, those forces could uh, uh, reconstruct themselves. So uh, the situation is much, much better than it was, but it still requires a level of commitment. So we've got some uh, modest amount of forces in Syria, uh, and we've got uh, forces in Iraq that continue to, to work for the enduring defeat of ISIS. So this is the main reason for the uh, U.S. Uh, military presence in North Syria, is to fight the ISIS. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all about the enduring defeat of ISIS, sure. So, <clears throat> and, and by the, doing the, that, you're maintaining the stability. The moment that threat wiped out, the U.S. going to leave Syria? Well, that would be a political decision. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a decision uh, made by uh, political leadership, President Biden, um, and the U.S. government. So uh, I don't, I don't want to forecast mm -hmm. some sort of decision, but the, the fundamental reason why we're in Syria to begin with has everything to do with the enduring defeat of ISIS.